In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the yield to maturity of a bond with semi-annual coupon payments. The yield to maturity is the rate of return of the bond, reflected by the letter R in our formula. In our example, we know that the par value is £1,000, the coupon rate is 6%, there are 5 years to maturity, and the bond's price is £950. We're also going to assume that interest payments are semi-annual, in other words paid twice a year. Before we can calculate the yield to maturity, let's first calculate the coupon payments and the number of periods. Usually our annual coupon payments would be 6% of £1,000, which is £60. However, since we have semi-annual coupon payments, we need to divide this by 2. Finally, we also need to adjust the term of the bond. This now becomes 5 years to maturity multiplied by 2 to reflect the semi-annual coupon payments. In other words, we will receive £30 every 6 months over the course of 10 periods. What we want to do now is find the exact value of the yield to maturity without any manual effort. To do this, we can use Excel's rate function, which is a function that returns the interest rate per period. So we type equals rate. First, it's asking us for the number of periods, which is 10. We then need to input the payments, which is the coupon payments we calculated earlier. Next, we enter the bond price. However, make sure that you add a negative sign first. By adding a negative sign, we're telling Excel that the price is a cash outflow. In other words, we've paid £950 and get back cash inflows of £30. Next, we input the par value, which is a cash inflow, as we receive it back in the final period. So that can remain positive as well. Finally, we need to multiply everything by 2 to account for the fact that coupon payments are semi-annual. We can see that Excel has calculated that the yield to maturity is 7.21%. In other words, the value of R is 0 0.0721. Let's now create a calculation table to double check that this answer is correct. As per our formula, we will receive just the coupon in periods 1 to 9, and in the final periods, we will receive the coupon plus the principal. So let's input the coupon payments and add absolute references to ensure this remains static as we drag it across. Then in the final periods, we'll add the principal to the coupon. Next, we need to calculate the present value of each of these coupon payments. We can calculate this by taking the coupon payments and dividing it by 1 plus the yield to maturity divided by 2. This is because 7.21% is the annual yield to maturity, whereas we need to account for the fact that we're receiving semi-annual coupon payments. We can then close brackets and calculate this to the power of the current period. Let's add absolute references to ensure these cells remain static. Now that we have all the individual present values, we can add these up to give the price of the bond. Here we can use the sum function. As you can see, this returns the exact same bond price as the one we used to calculate the yield to maturity earlier, which confirms that 7.21% is indeed the correct answer. So that's how you can calculate the yield to maturity of a bond with semi-annual coupon payments. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.